Well, obviously, I'm very um, pleased with our defensive effort. Um, I really thought that after the first, you know, it took us a while to get our feet underneath us. We've been off for two weeks, and once we got our defense going, we were able to convert some easy baskets on the offensive end. That got our energy level up, and thought we were able to make some big plays. And obviously, um, Sydney Wallace was was a huge factor today. Um, you know, we brought her to Georgia Tech to score, and you know, she's done that in spurts throughout the whole ACC season. That's really pushed us over the edge and helped us win some key games, especially going down the stretch. But today, she took it to a whole nother level and one of the things we've been talking to her about is putting two halves together because we knew if she could put two halves together she could have big numbers and today she stepped out there and and really knocked down shots and you know one of the things we talked about coming into this term the two teams we felt like we were going to face um play, play a lot of zone defense and so we knew we, our three-point shooters were gonna have to step up and sydney did that for us today we'll open it up to the student athletes questions for them mike Um, I just went out there with confidence, and once I knocked down the first shot, I, I was just, I was very confident, and I just continued to shoot and kept going through. Just, just in a zone, something like that today? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Sasha, um, obviously you got some uh, touches inside early, and then you got a rhythm going. How, how did that help the game and the offense go and flow, and eventually how it looked back and forth with Sydney and um, I just feel like earlier that coming in when you're facing a team like Sacred Heart, that if you're a go-to player, then you have to play your role. And that's all I wanted to do. I was focused on was the fact that I'm the tallest player on the court. I have no excuses. I wasn't going to sit down and let my team down when everyone was going to play hard. And I had no confidence that – I had more enough confidence that everyone was going to give everything they got. So I had to match that. So – I mean, it felt great. I'm very, very proud of Sid. First NCAA tournament. She started off with a bang, so I'm just very happy. Okay, up here in the front row. Yeah, Sydney, so uh, just again on, on your effort. Did you recognize that, that perhaps you weren't in their game plan defensively because they seemed to give you early a lot of room to, to spot up? Yes, yeah, so I felt that, you know, I, w I was open. So when I'm open and my teammates find me, it's my job, it's my role to knock down the shots, and that's what I did. My, my teammates did a good job in finding me in open areas and getting me open as well. Mike. Sorry, you touched on this a little bit. When you go into a game and you're not facing a big time all time, a ton of players on the other side, like you the ACC so much, you kind of licking your chops, getting into the um, I mean, I have to give credit to Sacred Heart. They have a great post player, number 20. I mean, she's not the type of banging post player. She's more finesse. And I just have to think of when I go into games like this that, yeah, I have to guard them, but they have to guard me too. And I have to do my job. I have to do my duty and my service to actually just be the power player that I'm supposed to be. I mean, it doesn't matter who I'm playing or any given night. I just have to show up and be the post presence that my team needs me to be. Did you notice something? <laughs> Did you notice something go out of them when number 20 Taylor had to go out because uh, you went on a big run right after that and it seemed like you guys took over the board, especially you. I mean, coming in, we knew that 20, she wouldn't give up. And she's her team's heart. And whenever you take the heart out of someone, that's when everything else falls apart. And I feel like we did a great job in, you know, attacking her early, making her decide if she was going to foul or not. I mean, the calls went our way this time where she picked up two early ones and had to go out, and that's when we had to capitalize on it. Okay, 20's out the game. We really have to go now. Um, so that's just us being smart and just playing our roles and knowing that what we have to do in attack on offense. Any other questions for the student athletes? All right, we'll open it up for questions. For Coach Joseph. Mike, left. Obviously, Ty Marshall's been playing great. I mean, you look at the you get two points in a game like this, you think you're in a lot of trouble. So how much of a lift does Sydney give you when she gets those points? Well, I think one of the things that was Sydney playing as well as she was, Ty was able to relax a little bit. I think she relaxed a little too much. But, um, you know, I think that obviously when you're leading scorer and, and your go-to player on the perimeter, uh, Ty Marshall, you know, when she struggled, we've usually struggled to score. With Sydney stepping up tonight and making those sh those shots, obviously you see we scored 76 points, so we weren't s struggling to score because we had the perimeter um, presence with Sydney. But, you know, it's really important for us heading into um, – Tuesday that we get all of our players, you know, stepping up and playing their roles, especially our go-to players, Sasha and Mimi and Ty. You know, those are our our three go-to players. And in you know, Sydney, if she can, if they, we can get all three of them playing well, and then Sydney can complement them, then we can do something special. And that's the kind of effort it's going to take on Tuesday night. 
Right here. Coach, you notice early on um, your tempo was a little bit slower than maybe you wanted to, and then all of a sudden it started kicking in with the defense and transition. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, I think um, that goes back to, you know, we had we didn't play. We played two weeks ago today, so that was our last game. And I think that it took us a little bit to get our feet underneath us. I mean, we've been practicing against guys, so we've been doing a lot of scrimmage and a lot of full court stuff, so it wasn't – but playing a game is a whole different – you know, it's just even a whole different feel. Um, and so I think that it took us about, you know, 10-minute mark. We finally, okay, now we're back. And we started playing more aggressively, and, and I really felt like, um, you know, we were able to get some easy baskets off our defense. And that's what that's where we thrive. That's where we make our runs. And, you know, we, we depend on that. And I thought, what, you know, what we do with our defenses and what we do offensively, we try – it's a wear down effect. You know, it's not going to something – our defense isn't going to be – the first five minutes of the game isn't going to be impactful. It's the last ten minutes of the game where our defense becomes impactful in a close game. Yep. The, uh, the defense forced 20 turnovers, 31 points off, off turnovers. Is that the kind of uh, result you would expect from, from that trapping pressing? Uh, right. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, one of the things we talked about, we built this program, you know, started building this program nine years ago was we're going to build it on defense and rebounding. And, you know, one of the things we've done is really depended on our defense throughout the course of this past six years, making the NCAA tournament six times in a row. It's a credit to our defense. We haven't always been a, a very good offensive team. This is probably my best offensive team I've coached since I've been at Georgia Tech. Um, we have a lot of different weapons, and you saw that today with the way Sidney Wallace stepped up. But our defense is what got us here, so our defense will keep us here.